Hello there, Spoon313 here from 313 Games, and this is part two of GTA 5 Online, the ending updates. Um, if you've watched my previous video, I talked about adding all lots of the old mini games back in, adding some vehicles and a few new mechanics using older things, bowling and uh, pool and all that sort of thing. But now I'm going to go on to the big idea, the big one, the one I think that everyone's going to love. It's time to place your bets. Ladies and gentlemen, at the Lucky Horseshoe. That's right, casino, baby. But how? Well, I have a foolproof plan. But wait, you say? We can't have casinos because of laws and in-game real money gambling addictions. I and mean, sadly, that is true. But, like I've just said, I have a solution. And it's very simple, too. We simply convert the shark card to shark credit. Huh? How? Well, it's simple. Instead of topping up your in-game mission earned money with a purchased shark card, it adds a new total of shark credit, right next to your other total. And it could be, perhaps be in blue, okay? This can be used to purchase all the goods and services as before, but cannot be added to the in-game mission earned money, so it won't top up your old money, it will be a sum of money called credit that it is totaled separately. Why? Simple. This way, players can only use in-game mission earned cash to buy chips at the Lucky Horseshoe Casino. Shark credit, or legal money that you're actually buying and putting into the game, will not be permitted to be used in the casino. You will not be able to use real money in the casino, alleviating the real gambling laws and personal addictions that some people have. And you say, well, what if I lose all my in-game earned money at the casino? Well, not my problem. You should be more careful. Just thank me and Shark Credit that you're not losing your real money from the real world. Okay, so we have solved the casino problem. We can bet with in-game earned cash, but not real money, thanks to Shark Credit. What else? You want more? Of course you do. Well, how would you like to own a luxury condo above the Lucky Horseshoe, with inclusive club privileges and additional massive garage? Or own your own club about town and employ your friends as bouncers. And what else? Well, we need to win a car or two or some prizes at the slots, right? We need something to work towards rather than just doubling or tripling or quadrupling our money. No, we need to win some prizes. Well, what prizes should we win in the casino? Well, I've got quite a few here I think will be absolutely excellent. I think we should win the scuba gear, so we can actually go diving at our own leisure for as long as you like with the scuba gear on. That would be awesome. Win a squirrel suit. That could be a nice bonus. It's something new that I have to put in the game, and everyone knows what a real squirrel suit does. You can jump from planes or the base jump. They have the little cells under their arms and their legs, and they can glide down. Win a go kart. Who doesn't want to ride a go kart around town and perhaps make up some crazy stunt races and use go karts? And win my favourite car from GTA Vice City, the classic Deluxo. The one from Sunshine Autos, when we used to buy Sunshine Autos, and you have that lovely Deluxo. That's GTA, GTA's answer to the much-loved DMC DeLorean, which is my favourite car of all time. What else? Well, we do have the Glendale. I think it's the, is it the Pacifico Glendale? I can't remember. We do have the Glendale in the game, but I would prefer to win the classic Glendale, the one from GTA San Andreas. Uh, the one that Big Smokes made us drive, if you remember old Big Smokes. Or how about the sexy luxury Broadway? I think that's based loosely on a, I can't remember, it's a 1940s Peugeot or something like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. Uh, how about even win a, a harpoon gun? What the fuck? Oh yes. Or perhaps win the all new Deluxo V. See what I did there? GTA 5 and then put the Deluxo there. You got the classic Deluxo and what about a new one? Deluxo V. Why not? And of course add a couple more cars that you can actually buy. Finally be able to actually buy the Esperanto. Remember the one that was in all of the old games? It was uh, Mr. Bellick's Taxi. Um, I swear to God, in, in Vice City, it was actually called the Washington, but they changed the name. Um, and North Yankton, at the beginning of the story mode, you actually saw the Esperanto covered in snow. It was a police vehicle. 
Can we just have that and do that, please? I, I just love the, the lights on the back. It's just awesome. And how about by the Savannah? That old low rider that we haven't had added to low riders in the game from GTA San Andreas. It's the first low rider you ever actually get and try to win. Uh, what was it? You tried to win the uh, the hydraulics dance thing that those that the guys do, and it's it's a beautiful car and you've got so many lovely designs on it. And uh, how about also to buy the classic San Andreas to Homer? That was um, Carl Johnson's brother's car. You know, a couple of classics in there. We've got lots of brand new sports cars. A Deluxo V would be a brand new sports car. And we could just have some nice classics. Who doesn't want to win some nice, shiny classics? I know I do. If you think there's something else that could be added to that, something else that you'd like to win at the casino or at the slots, let me know your picks for prize cars at the casino. Or maybe the jetpack, finally. But I really don't want to say jetpack, because for some reason, if you say jetpack to Rockstar at the moment, they just don't want to know. So I don't really want to ruin the chances that maybe or maybe not they'll listen to this video and that this may or may not happen. Uh, now, what about the clubs? Because I should say uh, casinos, but I haven't mentioned clubs. Well, how about we get some more, we get clubs opening up around town. I mean, yes, we can have a club in the Lucky Horseshoe and perhaps you could buy that club but not own the whole casino. Um, but perhaps you could also buy other clubs around town like Tequila La. Perhaps you could buy a little club in there, or manage a club. Um, so if you've got these little clubs around town, you could have, have your own club at the Yellow Jack Inn, or the Mojito Inn, or the Hen House up north, or any number of other clubs. And then when that happens, we will be able to reintroduce all the coolness of disco, sex in toilets, and champagne from the Ballad of Gay Tony. And perhaps you could even employ your friends to work as guards, do uh, doormen, bouncers, that we used to call them in the UK here, to earn cash. How about that? I think that would be awesome. So yes, you could have all the clubs back again and have all the fun of dancing and having an off with ladies in the toilet and flowing champagne in people's faces, blah de blah And have your friends work as a guard, work as a guard yourself. If you don't like people in your club, chuck them out. Get a few missions or two in there as well, kind of like we do with the bikers DLC. Uh, it'll just be missions that you need on the board, things that need to be followed up, earn cash, have lots of fun. So much more to do. You could have casino missions. And finally, why not add something that we haven't had in GTA 5 for a very, very long time? And even and we do know that GTA 5's support for updates is going to be coming to an end. So why not get one more heist in there? That's right, the Lucky Horseshoe Heist. Not happy playing the slots to earn cash? Want an easy way to the big time? Then why not plan the biggest heist ever and rob the casino vault? What would the setups be? How would it work? You decide, let me know. Let me know what you think the setup should be, what we should need to gather and put together to entail being successful. Give us options of how we could rob the casino vault. Because think about it, we're not going to own the casino. It'd be great to own the casino, but there's only one in town as far as I know. So why not rob it? Oh yeah, own the casino. Uh, rob, <laughs> rob the casino vault. That would be the best heist ever, and a, one of the highest paying heists I would have thought. Apart from obviously robbing that giant bank here. Um, and that's it really. I haven't really got much more to say. Um, other than please, uh, end GTA 5 online updates with the biggest bang, like I said in the video before. Keep it alive for years to come, keeping it interesting and fun for all, and not just, you know, public server things. And uh, help us get this idea to Rockstar, please, please like and please share. Get this video out, let, let them see it, maybe they, maybe they hate it, maybe they like it, maybe they can't do all of it, maybe they can just do some of it, whatever. Take the chance. They, they're running out of ideas and they're not... They're only going to be able to come up with certain things, you know, that their heart's not exactly in it anymore as far as I, I can see. And I think that some public input from some fans and players of the game could really help boost the game until it finally does have to, perhaps not closing the servers off, but just have to get to a final version with whatever it can have, whatever the engine can handle, and then it will finish. Because I've got a feeling that when GTA 6 comes, they're probably going to have to recreate their entire engine to encompass all of a lot more things into the game because they are still, as, as I'm, I'm 
sure they're still running the Rage engine or uh, an updated version of the Rage engine from GTA 4. Um, so yes, please like and share this video, get this idea to Rockstar, um, and thank you so much for watching this video. I have been a Spoon Tree with 3, and I have got a few more ideas, not massive updates, but a few more little tiny extras they could probably add into the game, and I'll let you know that in a different video. But, off, but for now, this two-part ending updates video is over. I've been a Spoon Tree with 3, thank you very much for watching. Ta-ta.